unfamiliar, unfamiliar. Sometimes in life we get to those points where we're sort of lost. And so this is what this piece is about because we're fearful of those times, but in fact it's those times that we sit back and reflect on things, the things that we can't find the, the solution to. So that's what the mirror is here. I have the pillows here in zebra skin pattern because the zebra to me is a really cool animal. For one thing, it uses its, its friends and, and its social community as its protective system. That's what the stripes are, but you can never take one out and train it like a horse. Therefore, it's still an individual in society. It's the same as what we want to be. We want to fit in, but we still want to be ourselves and find ourselves. And that's when we sort of get lost in these times. Now, the raven's a great bird. He's the messenger. He's also the storyteller or the future. He brings in the future, so that's what they're for. So you always do have the future to rely on. Someone's always been there, whether you're lost or not. So that's what the light is. You see, I bring that into a few of the pieces. Now when you're going through those patterns, again, we always have the family structures and so forth behind us, so we're never completely abandoned. Now what I love about this is this fence. This fence is something that's really cool. It's like when I was young in Australia, the properties are really, really large. And I remember a story of a three-year-old that got lost in the backyard. And they brought in the brigades and they looked for him, but they couldn't find him because he was told never to talk to strangers. But three days later, he rocks up to the neighbor's house because his father told him, whenever you find a fence and you're lost, it will always lead you to somebody's property. And that's exactly it. That's what's that there for. That's that security that there's always hints of something there to help you. I was talking about.